Hey YouTube, it's Beautifully Unique, aka UAB Girl 205. Um, I've been out running around, so like I've recorded like three videos in this format. It's clear I like this shirt though, because I've worn this shirt before in other videos, whatever, excuse me. Um, so I wanted to do this tag that I saw on YouTube. Um, excuse me. But I think I tried to record it before, but I didn't really like how it showed up, so I didn't record it. Here I am recording it again, and it's probably going to upload while I'm um, at the gym. I'm trying to do this. Yeah, I'm not going to be on time to my Zumba class. Because, matter of fact, this is what I'm going to go into. So, basically, this is going to be my tag of stuff that I don't like. I do not have it. Um, I don't know this. Whatever. It's just not that serious for me. I got a lot. <laughs> I do a lot of other stuff. But, yeah. And I'm hooking my phone up to the charger. But, yeah. Speaking of, I'm going to be late to my Zumba class because this is just me. And maybe this sounds really rude, but this is me. When I go to work out, I want to work out. I'm in my zone, you know. I want to go. I want to burn fat. I want to sweat. That's what I want to do. I understand that you want to be a little bit more motivational. Um, I do appreciate motivational words. I do. I really do. But I'm not really trying to interact with people like that. That's just me. Like, I don't, I, I'm not trying to go walk across the room and say hello to Betty who has no rhythm and say hi to Michael. Over. I don't really care. Like, to be honest, when you're in the class, you'll see people that you see all the time. And, you know, y'all will start talking. But I'm not trying to do this forced thing and interact and do forced interactions. That's the shit I don't like. I don't like that. Um, Number two, if I am driving... <laughs> on freeway um street whatever like and you see me going a decent speed why would you pull out in front of me and then go 10 miles per hour that pisses me off to a very high extent and usually no offense to the old people but usually it's always an old person it's always an old person it's like 70 years old on the steering wheel just like this just this is them they just sitting there and they're driving they little which I know they got to get there to where they're going to. But I just wish they would wait until I was zoomed by so they could do that. That, that, that pisses me off. That's that shit I don't like. Um, another thing, speaking of, I mean, because it's just popping up as it goes. Now, granted, I love, no, I take that back. I have a love-hate relationship with Matt. And I do like, um, quite a few products from them. I like, I love I do love Max Foundation. Like Studio Fix Fluid is my fave. I do love it. I do like Urban Decay's Naked or whatever. But what I don't like, and if anybody from Mac is like looking at this, no, the Mac stores. I don't really have a problem with Mac stores. The staff there, they actually in their um, I don't want to say inviting, but they're more receptive. That's the word I want to say. They're more receptive to the fact that I do my research and I look up stuff online. I look at Tentalia.com. I look at um, Musings of a Muse. I think that's what it is. I look at reviews and, like, I look at YouTube. So, I'm going to look and see what, like, with these new collections that come out every other month or every two weeks. I'm not going to go out there and buy that stuff. So, when I go into the counter, because where I live at, we don't have a Mac store. We only have a counter and dealers or whatever. Don't get mad at me because I know what I want. Like, don't look at me crazy because... I'm telling you, okay, I want this, this, and this. And you try to upsell me, and then I'm like, no, that's okay. I don't want that. But then you decide you're not going to give me the same amount of attention because I know what I want. See, that kind of shit pisses me off. Like, I'm still spending money. Matter of fact, that's why I stopped going to Mac because, yeah, I have my whole little issues with Mac on that one. I'm okay. I'm, I'm, I'm okay. Like, Mac, Mac has gotten, I'm trying to think, the last, I did purchase some stuff. That was Mac products, but I didn't purchase it from Mac. I went to, um, we have a CCO close to where I live at. So, I went to the CCO and bought it at the outlet store. So, I mean, the CCO got my money, not Mac. I haven't went to the Mac counter in a while. I actually went to the Mac store when I went up to Birmingham or whatever to um, visit some friends from school. But, yeah, and I'm not buying anything when I go up there this time because I just, I don't have the money. <laughs> no, you got to say no. And, actually, I've been buying a lot of stuff. I've had a lot of stuff. And, um, no, I'm not buying it. So, yeah, I don't like that. Because that, to me, that's really, really, really rude. Um, Another thing that I don't like. 
I used to work in a restaurant, so I'm kind of really, really picky on things. So bad service in a restaurant is really, this is what I don't like. And I don't know whether I, to all my light skin people that's watching me, no offense to y'all, but I can't stand that when I go in a restaurant and I know for a fact that, and I'm sure many other people of color have experienced this, but when you go in there and your service is like, they're treating you differently because you're the color of my skin. Because you think I'm not going to tip. I mean, I actually had, I used to work with somebody and the girl asked me um, if she could ask me something. Uh, if she could ask me something so I couldn't get out and, and I wouldn't get offended. She didn't want to offend me. And she started asking me, why don't black people tip? Which is really, really rude. That's rude as hell to ask, which I tip all the time. I tip every time I go in. Even when my service is kind of bad, I tip. I'm not going to tip you 20%, but you'll get a tip. And I'm not going to tip you. I mean, I've seen some people leave a quarter on the table, which is was funny as hell. That was one of the funniest things. But, I mean, I'm not going to do that. But don't treat me differently because you think I'm automatically not going to tip, which automatically that's going to decrease your tip. I mean, hell, I, me and my best friend went to go eat at, um, I'm not going to say where it is because I, I did used to really love that restaurant. But we went to go eat there and, like, our service was bad. And she didn't leave him a tip. She said no. Excuse me. I mean... You can actually see where we were sitting, like this is us sitting at the table and above us, like on this level, you can see into the kitchen and you can see the server, our server sitting there talking. Like we don't have our food out, our drinks are empty, we didn't get, we were at Old Charlie's because I mean, I'm saying something about rolls, so we didn't have our rolls. Yeah, it was bad. Like, and I'm looking at you talk, so I don't understand why you haven't come back to my table. Matter of fact, you only came to my table twice the entire meal. So. That's some shit I don't like because I don't appreciate that. To me, that's rude. Um, trying to think of what else don't I like. This is another thing I don't like. Okay. I like, I get my nails done. So what, and if you want to know what color this is, this is Fuzzy Wuzzy. No, Warm and Fuzzy. Why did I say Fuzzy Wuzzy? Warm and Fuzzy by OPI. came out with the Muppets collection or whatever. If I tell you I want my nails a certain way. Like, I like my nails. I don't know whether y'all can see. They're pretty much, they're really squared. I like them to be pointy. I like my stuff to be like dangerous <laughs> if you think I like pointed I like it really really square I do that's why I get like acrylic and stuff like that on my nails um for the most part it's like an overlay at this point but whatever I haven't saw my real nails in a while actually but if I tell you I want my nails a certain way don't do it the way you think it's gonna look better I, that's not how I, uh -uh. I don't appreciate that if I'm paying you to do my nails this way I don't really care what you think don't tell me Oh, it's not going to look right. Yes, it will. Just do it how I want it. And if I don't like it, if I get it and then I look at it and be like, oh, yeah, that didn't look right. But you did it how I wanted you to do it. I'm okay with that. But don't tell me how I should get my stuff done and I'm paying you to do it the way I want it. You know what I mean? That's the shit I don't like. That shit pisses me off. Highly. Highly, highly, highly. <laughs> um, you know. Nah. That's the shit I don't like. Oh, I'm trying to think of some other things that I don't like. I'm I, I can't even because those are like my top pet peeves. Like drive stupid people that drive, um, that pisses me off. Like I get road rage. I do have road rage. Um, my nails pisses me off too. Service things like rudeness and in service industry that pisses me off too. Um, I don't even know. If there's anything else that really no. Now I, I take that back. There's another thing that pisses me off. Don't tell me what to do with my money. Like, a lot of people like to do it. People on YouTube, actually, um, and I don't have that many subscribers, you know, which I'm glad for people that are subscribed to me. But I've noticed, like, with other people that I watch, like, I watch a lot of haul videos and stuff like that. If somebody's buying stuff and they decide they want to share with everyone what they bought and what they got in their haul, don't sit there and be like, oh, well, how much money do you make? Or, oh, you spent so much money on this. <laughs> As Weezy F. Baby said, and I ain't no Weezy fan, but this is about the truest statement he's ever said. If you didn't help me make it, don't tell me how to spend my money. That's 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 some shit right there. And this goes, I mean, friends will say that stuff. I really don't care. If I'm not asking you for no money to help me pay my bills, what I do with my money should not concern you. So, yeah, like people that be involved in what that, maybe if you were, were more concerned with your own finances, you could go do what I do. But that's my friend. I'm over with. So for the most part, being that this video is almost 10 minutes long and I kind of just want to get it up there. I wanted to upload while I'm at the gym or whatever because I, I, I don't want to do this. I don't want it to be too long, even though I could have a long video, but you know, 
nobody wants to watch that. So this was my stuff that I don't like. I might come back with a part two if I start thinking of other things. But that was what I don't like. Um, I might come up with some more stuff or whatever. Like a lot of people touched on like the touching the hair. That pisses me off too. I don't like that shit either. Don't touch my hair. <laughs> but yeah, let me know what you guys think below. Um, I did upload two other videos. Uploaded a phase of the day and I uploaded my thoughts on that bullshit ass fight. That's some shit. That's some shit I really don't like. So you know, go check those out. I'll probably upload another face of the day that I did and I thought I had um I thought I had finished editing, which I really didn't edit the video. I was just exporting it to um Movie Maker. I think this movie or QuickTime, whatever it is on Mac. Um my Mac computer and whatever program because YouTube doesn't like it in the regular um iMovie form. But that should be coming up and um I may do an outfit of the day this weekend because I'm going out and going to get my party on. So thanks for watching. Tell me what you think below. Um, subscribe if you like. If not, you know, just thanks for watching anyway. So till the next time, see you guys later. Bye.